Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Vesperia, definitive edition, definitive edition, Jesus, I cannot English today apparently. Anyway, in the last episode, we arrived here in Mount Temza, and we met Judy again, but uh, things are kind of happening right now, and uh, yeah, it's... Uh, a little bit complicated. We're going to try and save Judy and help her out. Uh, and uh, learn about everything. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out last episode, you guys should. Because uh, Yuri said something that was pretty interesting. So check it out. Anyway, let's head onwards. Oh, immediately I get into a cutscene. So just a few feet. So you are aware that this place was the ground on which the Great War was fought. Yep. Yeah, we heard from the old man here. The Great War was sparked by a type of Blastia. Oh? What? This was not a Blastia that had been excavated. It had been constructed in the city of Temza using a new type of technology. The Hermes Blastia. Hermes Blastia? Hermes Blastia? I've never heard of it. And if you say it was newly built, I didn't think you could make a new Blastia. Me neither. These models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to revolutionize the technology of Blastia. But something went wrong. Like always. The Blastia using these Hermes type formulas required massive quantities of air. The air crinna began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. That would mean the end, not just of humanity, but all life on this planet. Just like we saw at Cave Mock and the Weasand of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Intelakea realized the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans, and they moved to destroy them. Oh. Which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. So then the Entelakea fought against the humans to help the planet? Mm hmm But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those Blastia were? I imagine they did, but they didn't listen to them. Neither side probably cared much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Entelakea. Probably didn't talk much. Or maybe there was another reason. But what does any of this have to do with you, Judy? Temza fell to the flames of war. And the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait, you mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Yes, at Rago's mansion, Emmet Hill, Gosforost, not to mention. Oh. Sarah's Blastia on the Fiertia. That new Sarah's Blastia must have been a Hermes Blastia. Oh. So then you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelakea. That's why. You could have mentioned that. Why didn't you say something? Were you going to save the world all on your own? Are you stupid? <laughs> you just stay so calm. Judy. Oh! Man! It looks like we found our mark. You will not pass. You're a person, aren't you? How can you defend a monster? It's an Entelakea. Didn't you get the news? I said nobody lays a hand on one of our own. We won't allow that. Not even from you, Nan. We were having a conversation over here, but out. I can't believe these guys. Such scallywags. I don't usually like to get my clothes dirty, but... Everyone. We got you. Don't worry, girl. Have the hunting blades added people to their list of targets? Nobody who associates with monsters can rightly call themselves a person. Oh, really? Carol, have you forgotten the credo of the hunting blades? Step aside. We have our own credo now. Monsters are evil, and the hunting blades pursue that evil. But the Angelakea aren't evil. They were fighting to save the world. Don't let them fool you with that credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're here for the Apatheia. Mm -hmm. 
Huh. It seems you won't listen to reason. Don't worry. If you have no intention of moving, you leave us no choice. Oh, really? Judith joined the party. All right. Judith, it, Judith is not in your party. Please form a party with Judith as a member. Oh, okay. Uh. Ooh. I'm sorry, Patty. Uh. We got a lot of stuff for Judith now. Dragon Tooth, back to this. She she had this. She had the executioner. This is what I was like trying to learn. A tribal guard. Ah, let's finish this. Striped ribbon. Feather coat. We had this, the rare coat. Yeah. The attack ring is still there. All right. Mm -hmm. Be consumption by 33. Oh, that, that's a lot more. Mm hmm. Okay, I think we should be good now to put Judy here, put that here, uh, do I have the Luna Rondo here? Luna Rondo. Luna Ascendant and Luna Gale are the only ones that we have there. Luna Ascendant and Luna Gale and Luna Rondo, alright. Alright, we're gonna go with Crescent Moon Blade, Dawn Moon, and uh, yeah, Moonlight Talon is okay. I think we should be good, hopefully. I feel like Crescent Strike and Lunar Rise. Yep. All right. You're good. Let's go. This also has a secret mission. If this is, you know. Oh, forgot. Not forget. Ow. Wait. Oh, you're a caster. Okay. You are getting first. Alright, come here. Alright, come on. Oh my god. Oh, Mystic Art. Oh, damn. Oh, I am just. Nope. I missed. I'm back here. Oh, that was the moment. Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh. All right, come on. Oh, wow. Come on. 
Come back here. No, you don't. Oh my god. It's so annoying. If she doesn't stay still. Oh my god. She's so annoying. There's the over limit. Oh, I need to stop hitting her. Oh, here's the mythic card. Ow. Alright, come on. She has 14,000. Come on, Nan. No. Oh my god, I stopped it, but okay. I want her to do the thing again. There we go. That's one. Great. There's Tyson. All right. I'm going to focus on Tyson now when he gets stuck. There we go. Okay, there we go. We did both. Wow. That wasn't that bad. Come here. Come here. Come. Come here. No, you don't. Oh, I missed. There we go. That's non down. Ow! Is, is he Luffy? Oh god. He's quick though. Oh my god, he's quick like it. Come on. There we go. That was clean. Were you going easy on that? I'll fight anybody who lays a hand on my people. Hey. Secret mission 13. Special flag, death side, protect ring, resist ring. That's the logical I'm not done yet. Oh, and we got a new skill for Raven too. I'm sorry. They're not dead, right? I don't think so. There has to be some. Oh, there's more stuff here. All right. All right. So we have feather coat for Patty and Judy. But uh, wow. This. Oh, that's a. Uh, that, that's not that much. All right, we can just give it to Patty immediately. And ever blue. Okay. For a lot of people that haven't had new stuff, but oh, Baul. Is Baul okay? What's happening? Baul is trying to evolve. As an intelikea. Oh. It looks like he's suffering. Baul, come on. You can do it. No. Don't. I want to heal your wounds, but there's nothing I can do. My power is poison to you, isn't it? Healing wounds isn't your power, Estelle. What do you mean? It's Don't your you compassion. Elias's words. Power corrupts. But you, you are different. Never lose that kindness. 
the compassion you so readily show to others. Yeah. My compassion for others. Your thoughts are reaching Baul. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> well now. Amazing. What? I knew you could do it. Your partner seems like he's going to be just fine. Yes. Thank you all for helping to protect him. Of course. This is something I couldn't have done alone. You're one of us. Of course we'd help. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh my god. All's huge. Didn't I tell you? You got through to him. <laughs> wow. You make it through to Pharaoh as well. Will you be going to meet him? Yes. That's up to Estelle to decide. I'll go. It's been the purpose of my journey, after all. Are you sure? What if you end up getting killed? Even still, I've got to stand firm on this. It won't be too long before the hunting blades send reinforcements. So let's get out of here. How about a change in scenery before they show up and spoil the party? There's only one path down from here, though. We're bound to run into them. The skies are wide open above us. Oh? Have you lost your mind? Get on. We'll fly as far as the Fiertia. We can finish talking once we arrive. All right. That sounds good. That sounds like a plan. One really good plan. Ah. <sighs> wow. Well, we saved Baul. And we saved Judy. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's flying. And the boat is flying. What? Oh my god. Judith. Judy. She's sleeping. She must be exhausted. She was defending by by all all by herself. Yeah, I mean she just killed over. Wasn't expecting that. I bet she watched over Baul the entire time he was evolving. She probably didn't get much sleep. Mm -hmm. She probably had no idea when the hunting blades would attack either. She was putting up a brave front, but she must have been near the end of her rope. Yeah. She's just dumb. She doesn't know how to express what she's feeling. So do you. And I'm really glad we're able to help Judy out. I agree. We can finish talking with her tomorrow. We should let her sleep now. In fact, I wouldn't mind a little shut eye myself. What to do with Judith? We still haven't heard Judy's side, so we can't say anything, but... She sure caused the guild a major headache, breaking Blastia's all on her own. Mm -hmm. There's no getting around that fact, no matter what her reasons. We have to settle this. Come on, Yuri. Man, I hate waiting. <sighs> Yuri. Come on, you can cut her some slack. Oh, Yuri. Sorry to interrupt while you were thinking. Ever since I took Velius' life without meaning to... I've wanted to know what it means to be the child of the full moon, so the same thing doesn't happen again. I've always thought that it was my duty to know, but after what happened to Bellius... That's how everyone is. They do something, they learn. They do something else, they learn more. You too, Yuri? Yeah. Maybe if I had known everything ahead of time, I wouldn't have made any mistakes. There's no way to learn to know everything. <laughs> There's only one thing I can say for sure. What's that? Maybe you wouldn't have made any mistakes, but it sure would have been boring. Mm -hmm. I really wonder. You got this, girl. You'll figure it out. Don't worry. Raven! Uh, how's it going? So does an old man past his prime fit into the picture at all? Who knows? What are you whining about, old man? Why are you past your prime? Hmm. What Judith was talking about before... 
Hermes Blastia, was it? Blastia created with techniques that should have been lost in the war are still active. Do you know what this means? Hmm. I guess someone who survived the war brought either Blastia or those techniques back with them. Yeah, most likely. That person was still using the Blastia even though he knew it was harmful to the Earth? Someone like that would have to be quite the villain indeed. Oh man, don't tell me you... Hey now, yours truly was nothing but an innocent youth on the straight and narrow back then. Were you? I wouldn't do something like that even on my worst day. Huh. I was just trying to trick you into giving yourself away. You're a slippery one. Son of a... When are you going to learn some respect for your elders? <laughs> Never. I love this whole dynamic. So nice. It's refreshing as well. Fall overboard. Oh, I'll be careful. Please. Harry, the world sure is big. It really is. Yeah. Even though we're flying this high in the air, we still can't see everything. If the world's this big, I guess it makes sense that there'd be so many things we don't know. It might not make that much of a difference whether I get my memories back or not. It does. Are you saying you'd be okay with not getting them back? I'm saying that I'm not the only one who feels restless and anxious not knowing the truth. Everyone's worried about something. Even you and Estelle. You think so? Isn't that why everyone's here? Isn't that why Judy came back? Mm-hmm. And is that why you're here too? I don't want to be alone. You know, you're being pretty honest today. I'm always honest. <laughs> really? Well, maybe you are. A little too honest sometimes. All right. Where is... Hey, Carl, my man. How's it going? Carol. Sorry. Are you thinking about Judy? Yeah. I'm wondering what we should do about her. It's true that she broke the guild's laws and betrayed us. I always thought that a guild's strict adherence to its own laws was what kept it together. That there could be no exceptions, no lenience for those who would break the laws. But... She did what she did to save the world. Mm -hmm. Judy is destroying Blastia because she knows it's the right thing to do. Even if it makes people hate her. That's a noble thing. Yep. Judith didn't break our laws in order to do something bad. I know this now. I'm going to talk with her about it and give it some more thought. I'll figure this out eventually. No pressure. Oh, yeah? Maybe if I become a little more decisive, Nan will listen to me, too. <laughs> oh, Carol. <sighs> All right. In we go. Time to see. Oh, here's Rita. And repeat. Is that the core from the Sarah's Blastia that Judy destroyed? Yes, it's definitely cut with a different formula than the usual core. It looks like what she said was true. She said she wasn't too good at lying after all. <laughs> to discover that the new technique you created was bad for the world after what must have been years of research. I can't imagine how the person who created the Hermes technique must have felt. Well, what if it had been you? If I found out that it hurt the Earth, I would have to do something about it. But I wouldn't destroy the Blastia like that. Ah. <gasps> what the? What was that? Nothing. What was that about? Uh, if only things weren't so complicated. I could have just blasted her into oblivion and been done with it. I think she wouldn't have let you hit her. Hmm. Thank you. Oh. All right, let's check on Judith now. Oh, can I go? You know, sorry. Let's check on Judy. She's sound asleep. Let's let her sleep a bit longer. Oh, okay. I needed to check on her. Okay. Let's just wait for her to be okay. Hey, Carol. Good morning, Yuri. Good morning. Morning. It's a beautiful morning, but even as we stand here, the air is out of balance. Is it? And our world may already be dying. <laughs> That's right. Judith. Judy! 
Well, look who's feeling better. In the past, these slight fluctuations of the air have not negatively affected our world. There have always been beings who maintain the balance by sensing changes in the airflow. Beings like Pharaoh and Ba'ul, the Entelechaea. Mm. So the Entelechaea were responsible for keeping the air balanced. For ages, the Entelechaea have regulated the air. So that was the dragon. Then the uh, Ba'ul, Pharaoh, and Bellius. So they were the ones who controlled the air. Huh. But the recent increase has been greater than they could control. Which is being caused by the Hermes Blastia. And which is also why you were going around taking down as many of them as you could. Rita. Yes, that was my mission. The path I walk with Ba'ul, to whom I owe my life. The path you walk? Now some would even hunt the Intelikea for Apatheia. Oh, yeah. This has made the mission of the Intelikea even more difficult. Why is everybody so crazy about these Apatheia anyway? I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The air an Intelikea absorbs becomes condensed within its body over time. When its life is at an end, that condensed air forms a crystal, an Apatheia. Oh. That's all I know. I imagine Pharaoh could shed more light on the subject, though. So Apatheia are crystals of concentrated air. If that's true and the energy could be extracted from the Apatheia, it would be a source of overwhelming power, I'm sure. Oh. Could we really do that? I... I don't know. But if that's possible, there must be tons of guys who want those things. Yeah, maybe, maybe... Maybe that's why. I feel like that's the only reason why they could. Just for more power, just to like... I don't know, just to wield power the Empire. I bet somebody wants to use these things for the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah, obviously. The, there's never been a time where people want to use this for the right reasons. Why didn't you just tell us all this from the beginning? That's a good question. Seriously, we could have avoided all this trouble if you just talked to us. Am I wrong? Even if you had known, mm -hmm. there are things not even you could have prevented. Like? What do you mean? I showed up at Heliord because Ba'ul had sensed a disturbance in the air. Where there was a disturbance, there was sure to be a Hermes Blastia. But what I found there was not a Blastia, it was a person. That had never happened before. Oh! So it wasn't like you were looking for Estelle in particular back at Heliord. Yet for some reason, Ba'ul perceived Estelle as a disturbance in the air. Oh! I had to find out why. For the sake of the path I've chosen, it was at that time that Pharaoh first appeared. He seemed to have some idea who Estelle was. And that's why you stayed around? My mission was to destroy all the Hermes Blastia. However, Estelle was obviously not a Blastia. I needed to make absolutely certain. I made a deal with Pharaoh, and he agreed to grant me some time. Oh! You mean... If it became apparent that her existence posed too great a threat, then I... I would kill her. Whoa. You what? Wait, Rita! Settle down. Obviously, Judith reached a different conclusion. Mm-hmm. She's still here and Estelle's still alive. All right, I get it. Bellius said you possess a heart of compassion. If you can communicate that to Pharaoh somehow, you may learn what you should do. Hey, there's no real reason for you to fight Pharaoh anymore, right? I mean, we know the Hermes Blastia are what's causing the problem and everything. If we just make sure the Apatheia don't fall into the wrong hands... It's easier said than done. I still want to meet Pharaoh. I want to hear what he has to tell me. But, please try to understand. I have to know more about myself and take responsibility for who I am. All right. Sorry, Yuri. I don't think we can decide what to do about Judith right away. No, I know. I promise not to leave again until things have been settled, as you said. I need to accept that responsibility myself. Let's go and find Pharaoh. We'll finally be getting around to one of the first things we set out to do. <laughs> I know, right? We set out with that mission and then completed 20,000 missions that are not that one on the way. We can work out the rest once this is finished. 
There is a rocky crag in the center of the sands of Kogor. That is where Pharaoh lives. Baul can take us there. Oh. Okay, let's go. This meeting's been a long time coming. All right. It has been a long time. Oh my god, this looks so epic. I can communicate with Baul, but there are still a few things you should know. Oh, okay. Like what? Baul can only land on the ground in wide open spaces. So you won't be able to dismount on steep mountain ranges or in narrow canyons. That makes sense. Can't he land on water? Water's no good either. Mm. Really? He looks like he'd be a good swimmer. <laughs> yeah, he'd sink like a rock. Oh, oh. Huh. Who knew? I know, right? But that's why we have a ship, right? Right. If you'd like to get down onto the ocean, let me know. Bowl will set our ship down there for us. Okay, but what should we do when we want to fly again? I agree. Use Baul's horn to call him to you. Baul's horn. Baul's. That's all there is to it. Every Intellikea has a special region in its brain that can be used for communication with a special power Critians possess. Oh. Huh. So we can get a hold of him by using that. Right. Baul's horn. A horn made from the pack, a part of Baul's body. Press L3. Press down on L3 to call Baul on the world map. Uh, oh, land only, okay. Uh, forward, backwards, okay, stars, okay, okay. That seems pretty straightforward. Right. Pretty nice, pretty good. Oh, oh my god, oh my, oh my lord, that took a, whoa. Judith, you're familiar with Pharaoh, aren't you? Is he really as scary as he seems? Well, let's see. Sometimes he's logical, sometimes he's emotional. He can be really scary or really kind. All right, that didn't help very much. Mm -hmm. One thing's certain, his power is extraordinary, even among the Intellikea. Here's hoping we don't wind up looking like poor old Mount Temza the moment we meet him. If he can do that to a mountain, there wouldn't be anything left if he turned on us. Yeah. I wish you wouldn't joke about scary things like that. Oh, come on, Why Carl. Why should we get scared before we even get there? Especially if he's that strong. Wish I could take it as lightly as you and Yuri. <laughs> Everybody else is like freaked out. All right, but we have a lot of things to do. What I would like to do now is... I believe... Where did I start? I started all the way over here. So we are going to fly all this way. And this is Emid Hill, right? All right, we are going to go into Emid Hill, em Emid Hill, Emid Hill, and there's a bunch of side quests, but we're going to do those in the next episode. Just letting you guys know, next episode is probably going to be a lot of side quests because a lot opened up for us. So I'm going to be trying to tackle them all and see what everything is. So. Hope you guys have been enjoying these videos, because if you have, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.